I'm Coyote Peterson, and I want to show you something cool, but it's going to be one pinchy situation. Here we go. One, two, three. The Pacific Coast is an expanse of beauty, and if you head down to the shores of Half Moon Bay at low tide, there's a world of biodiversity that you may encounter. All right, so here's something pretty interesting. As we're waiting for the water to recede back and the tide pools to become exposed, this is what's left behind. This giant mass of nastiness, this is kelp. And you aren't here with me right now, but I promise you, this stuff absolutely stinks. Oh. The tide's going out. Looks like the tide's coming back in. So, now you can eat kelp, some people do, but if you were here and you stuck your face in this and you could smell it, it's like a rotten fish market. Certainly not something that I want in my salad. All right, let's head up this way and see if we can find some cool creatures. From sea anemones, that feels so cool. All those little tentacles are so sticky. To prickleback fish, the tide pools are alive with friendly animals. Though some of the local inhabitants aren't quite as well mannered as, let's say, a sea star. And if you flip over some rocks, watch your fingers, because you might get more than you bargained for. Down here nestled in these rocks is a purple shore crab. I'm gonna gently move some of these rocks back and try to get a hold of them he is pretty good size. And one thing about these crabs is that they are very difficult to handle. And there's probably a pretty good chance that I'm gonna get pinched. I got him. Look at that. There it is. That is the purple shore crab. Now you notice how that crab is blowing bubbles? He's not doing that to be funny. He's actually doing it to aerate his gills. And if you didn't know the crabs have gills, they do. All these little bubbles, because he's out of the water right now, as they pop, push oxygen back in through his gills. Now, the reason that they are called the purple shore crab, as you can see, he is very purple in coloration. The carapace, which is the top of the crab, is purple. And then the claws up front here have very distinct light violet color with darker purple spots. Now these little crabs are a very important part of the ecosystem because they become food for a lot of the other animals out here. Primarily birds, so at low tide like this, when the water has receded back, the birds will flock in and look for these crabs stranded in shallow pools. Now fortunately for these little crabs, they're able to climb under rocks and hide. But if you're a human and you come out here to the tide pools, all you need to do is flip over a couple of rocks and you're going to find tons of these little crabs. Now one way to not get pinched by these crabs is to just gently let them rest on the palm of your hand. You want to move one hand to the next so that you don't apply any pressure and that way you avoid getting pinched. Now you're looking at this little crab and you're probably thinking to yourself, man, that looks like one voracious little predator. But they're mostly vegetarians out here feeding on sea lettuce and occasionally they'll scavenge on a dead carcass of some sort. Now, these front pinchers are actually used as defense. And I'm sure you're thinking to yourselves, coyote, you're gonna get pinched by that crab? Why not? Let's see how powerful it really is. All right, here we go, you ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh my goodness, that is a serious pinch right there. Oh, he's gonna get me with that claw too. Wow, look at that. I can only imagine what it would be like ah, to get pinched by a crab bigger than this. Now this is one of the smaller species of shore crabs that we have out here, but if you were ever to go out into the tide pools and try to catch one of these crabs and you are pinched like this, don't panic, try to tough through the pain and gently set it back down into the water. Watch this, as soon as he's down there, he will let go of my finger. Just like that, as soon as he felt that he was back in his environment and he was comfortable, he let go and went about his way. Pretty cool getting up close with the purple shore crab. Let's head down the beach and see what else we can find. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. If you thought that was one wild adventure, check out this episode where we encounter even more tide pool creatures. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.